Welcome to everyone, I'm Paulus Ricky, a master student at the Japan Institute of Technology and with this video I'm going to show you the CS560 uh, project. This is the second project. Um, uh, the second project was motion along a path and as you can see here I have uh, uh, an animation going on. Clicking with right mouse button you can put on the screen waypoints and you see that the character is going to start following these waypoints. Um, there are a few things that must be said about this project. So, uh, this project was um, um, motion along the path, as I said. Um, first of all, um, let's see what happens if I put just four waypoints. You can see that the character starts slowly, then accelerates, then it goes constant for for a while, and, it, and it, then it slows down. Um, this is regulated by the parameters here. Basically, um, I can define an entire time for the curve. Then I say the point at which uh, the character has to stop accelerating, then and the stop where the character has to stop to slow down. So basically, the graph that um, it's drawn here is the character is going to accelerate up to a certain point, up to a certain t. In this case, the parameter is the time. Uh, then it's going to keep the same velocity um, up to the point, up to t2, and at that point it's going to slow down so that when it reaches this unison, it stops. This is also useful because, um, as you can see, the feet don't slide on the floor, and that is because I'm moving the feet, um, taking in consideration the velocity of the character in the space. So as you can see here, when the character starts, it's going to start accelerating, and the feet don't slide too much. Of course, there's a, there's a little bit of sliding, but it's just tuning the parameters, and that's it. And it stops here. Uh, as it, uh, everything is calculated dynamically, so as you can as you can see, you can move the flags around, and the path is adjusted in real time. Um, I can try and modify parameters so I can make, for example, if I make a really long path, having just 8 seconds makes the character be kind of weird in between. So what I'm going to do now is put a total time of 15 seconds. Uh, it's going to accelerate up to um, 4 seconds and then we want to slow down just at the end, so 10 seconds. And I'm going to click on update movement. So what happens is that the character is still making all the path and it's going to slow down approximately here and it's slowing down and it stops. And we can see from here. The character accelerate. If it's a really fast, it means that 15 seconds at the maybe it's putting, it's really truly a lot of the time to um, go along all this path. So I can try put uh, 20, let's put 6 here and let's put 16. Let's see. Yeah, it seems kind of more reasonable. And yes, this was motion along the path. We're using uh, arc length function uh, to calculate uh, at each point uh, the velocity of the character uh, with respect to the uh, with the position with respect to the position of the character with respect to the uh, total length of the of the curve. And moreover, as you can see, the character is always facing forward. That means that the character is facing the direction it's going. It's never facing another uh, point. Um, so yeah, that is uh, pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you with the next video.